Welcome to the 6-Minute Bodyweight Warm-Up. My name is Charlie. I will be your trainer. Let's go ahead and get started on the mat in quadruped position. Go ahead and grab opposite elbows. That way you know proper placement for the forearms. And then on the knees, you're just going to go ahead and put the hands down on the mat. From here, we're going to be kicking the right leg up towards the ceiling, pulling the heel towards the glute, and then drawing the knee in a giant circle out around the side towards the front elbow, in towards the chest, and then back up and around. Go ahead and do that four more times. So all you're doing is creating giant circles with your knee, trying to open up the hip on the right side. If you can, pull the right heel in towards the glute. And then as you finish up your fifth circle, let's go ahead and reverse our hip circle by first pulling the knee in towards the chest, lifting up and out to the side like a fire hydrant, and then taking the knee back and around towards the donkey kick before pulling the knee right back into the chest. We'll be doing five of those on the right side as well. Remember, try to keep the heel in towards the booty, the back nice and flat without dipping the hips over onto the left side, and continue creating pressure between the elbows by pressing down into the mat. And as you finish up your fifth circle in the reverse direction, let's go ahead and switch legs. So starting on the left side, we'll do our hip circles moving towards the chest. So first kicking back and around the fire hydrant into the chest. And then you'll do five of those. And then as soon as you hit your five forward, you'll go ahead and reverse. And as you move into the final circle, don't forget to switch direction. Remember to keep the back nice and flat. Try not to spill over into the right side of the body. And then take the knee through a giant circle like you're trying to take it up and over a fire hydrant. Let's go ahead and do one more circle together. And then come on up to standing in a half kneeling position. So on a half kneeling position, make sure that the left hip is just over the left knee, right leg is extended straight out to the side, and then all you're gonna do is press the hips back and forth for a total of 10 times. Now the right foot should be flexed, the right leg should be straight, the left hip should be over the left knee, and the back should be flat. All you're doing is moving the hips forward and backwards about six inches, and you should feel a nice stretch all throughout the inner thigh, also known as the adductors. Finishing up with three more. Once you hit your three, we can go ahead and switch over onto the opposite leg. So this time, the right knee should be down on the mat, left leg extended. Make sure that the right hip is over the right knee, that the left leg is straight, left foot is flexed, back is flat, and then all you're doing is pressing the hips forward and backward, getting a nice stretch throughout the adductor. We'll do a total of 10. I'll let you know when we have a few more reps left. Finishing up with your final three rocks. And then as you finish, go ahead and come down onto the mat on your belly. Arms are going to extend out to the side, thumbs pointing up towards the ceiling like a T position. Shoelaces down into the mat, forehead in the mat. Keeping the arms straight, lift the thumbs straight up towards the ceiling until you feel the shoulder blades. Fire up and activate and then slowly lower arms down and repeat for a total of 10 times. So we call these T raises. Again, shoelaces down on the mat, hips in the mat, forehead on the mat. The only thing moving up towards the sky are your thumbs and your arms. And we'll do two more. Now from here, we'll go ahead and bring the hands to a Y position. Thumbs are still pointed up, shoelaces, hips, and forehead are still down on the mat. Lift the arms straight up towards the ceiling so that the bicep is above the ear, and then slowly lower the arms down. Same thing, we're going to do this for a total of 10 times. We call this one the Y raise. And then go ahead and finish up with two more Y raises. And then we'll pull the elbows down to the sides of the body so that the hands are in a field goal position or an L position. And then you'll just lift the elbows up towards the ceiling. Again, seeing if you can mobilize the muscles that are around the shoulder blade. We're doing a total of 10 of these. We call these L raises because the arms are in an L position. And then go ahead and finish up with two more L raises. 
From here, we're gonna tent the fingers so this time the elbows go up towards the ceiling. Again, pressing shoelaces, hips down into the mat. All you're gonna do is press into the tended fingertips to lift the chest up so that you're in a cobra position. Hips stay on the mat. Slowly lower down, keeping the elbows pointed up towards the ceiling and keeping the fingers in the tented position. So from here, we're just gonna do that again for a total of 10 times. It's essentially coming up for a cobra, but pressing into the fingertips and having the elbows point towards the ceiling. And let's go ahead and do two more of these. And then as you finish up, go ahead and come up to quadruped or hands and knees, toes tucked under. Keep the arms nice and straight, locking the elbows. And then all you're gonna do is drop the chest down in between the arms so that the shoulder blades come together behind you. From there, you're gonna press into the mat, re-extending the arms so that the shoulder blades can retract. And then you'll just keep dropping the chest down in between the arms and then extending the arms so that the shoulder blades move down the sides. We're gonna do this for a total of 10 times. We call this scapular push-ups, and this is is actually our final warm-up of the routine. So you can do this warm-up before every single one of your workouts. It's also a great way to start the day. Thank you for warming up with me and I'll see you next time.